In this video, I want to tell you what needs to be done when growing any kind of seedling to get the root system volume up in the cup. It's a Sprouted Seeds YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. As you can see, we filled the cups with soil when we transplanted the seedlings. But after watering, the soil settled a bit, and the cups weren't full. These cups hold half a liter. This is sufficient to produce robust seedlings without making them feel crowded. But when there's less soil in the cups, the root system quickly fills the entire space in the cup. Then, with so little soil, it has nowhere else to grow. Seedlings will be weak and cease to grow. You'll be looking for some nutrients to fix this situation. But it's not about the nutrients. The soil is insufficient, that's all. So now, when the seedlings are quite large, we do the following. We have cotyledons here, as you can see. Later on, they'll fall off themselves. But this spot is our starting point. So, we fill this spot with soil. Watering it will cause it to settle. Furthermore, any wounds that remain where the cotyledons grew will heal. So don't worry if you've covered that area. Now water the seedling if you haven't already before adding soil. To prevent damaging your seedlings, you can forego watering and do it in a few days if you already watered them today, and then made the decision to add soil. Because excessive watering also harms seedlings. New roots will grow here on the stem where I filled it with soil. You will thus be able to observe how your seedlings begin to grow again in roughly a week. Because plants grow proportionally, the root system grows, and the green mass grows. Nothing will grow on top if the roots don't grow. Thus, if you follow this method with your seedlings, they will begin to grow healthily even in the absence of fertilizers. 